Hey Roll folks, it's grand to see you all back here again at the channel for your regular dose of Roll news and analysis. But before we start guys and move on to any further details, I'd just love to say thank you for all your love and support over the past few months on the channel. And yeah, it really does mean a lot. So we're trying to keep going the channel. So if you can hit subscribe button if you haven't already, it would really mean a lot. And also make sure to hit that notification bell because that also helps out with getting the news to you guys as well. So let's get started on today's video. Now, a blast from the past is often unwelcome and unprepared for. Meghan Markle has revealed that she did not know a lot about the royal family. And Prince Harry, prior to meeting him, she admitted that whatever she knew about Harry was from what he had told her as opposed to reading it in the tabloids. After claiming to know very little about the royals, a blog post that the Duchess of Sussex wrote in 2014 has resurfaced that basically proves otherwise. In the interview that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did with the BBC after their engagement, the suit actress mentioned how she knew very little about Harry and his family. She also confessed that whatever she had gotten to know about Harry was through him and not through the tabloids and media. Harry agreed that that was the situation. He had not known anything about Meghan before their first date. Meghan had an online journal where she wrote about topics like food, fashion, health and travel, along with touching topics like political uh, issues and philanthropy. The name of the blog was called Tiganello, named after her favourite wine. Daily Mail has recently reported that the article that Meghan wrote revolved around endless conversations about Kate Middleton's opulent wedding ceremony. She wrote how girls should grow up to be braver women in real life instead of waiting for their knight in shining armour to arrive. Meghan's blog read, We're definitely not talking about Cinderella here. Little girls dream of being princesses. I, for one, was all about She-Ra, princess of power. She continued while referencing the superhero in the Masters of the Universe franchise. She-Ra is the twin sister of He-Man and a sword-wielding raw rebel known for her strength. The blog made it clear who the subject of the blog was. As Megan wrote, grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy. Just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversations about Princess Kate. Now, speculation arose when Megan decided to shut the blog down. And the behest of the royal family after her engagement with Harry, a source close to the Duchess of Sussex had deemed the rumours untrue and told people that the blog was not shut down because of the royal family. Before the blog went offline, Meghan penned a farewell blog that was titled The Tig. Farewell, darling. An excerpt from the blog read, After close to three beautiful years on this adventure with you, it's time to say goodbye to The Tig, a community of inspiration, support, fun, and frivolity. In her final blog, Markle continued, Keep finding those Tig comment moments of discovery. Keep, la keep laughing and taking risks and keep being the change you wish to see in the world. Above all, don't ever forget your worth, as I've told you time and time again. You, my sweet friend, you are enough. Thank you for everything. And meanwhile, it's speculated that the blog is making a comeback. Earlier this year, Megan filed a document with the US Patent and Trademark Office, which could potentially be to reboot the blog. So what do you guys think about the news? Do you think Harry meeting Megan and... Falling for her was all part of Meghan's sly plan, as Evil Duchess had always dreamed for the princess title. Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys, and until next time, have a great day, and we'll be back again soon with more raw news and analysis. Bye for now.